Hey folks, Chris with Western Harmonics here with a video on the topic of the solar powered fan for horses and livestock. Currently we have this item on pre-order and quite a few folks have been getting in touch with me wanting to know about availability. Uh, we do have it on pre-order. It is a no money down pre-order so it's free to reserve a unit and uh, you know if you want to pay we are doing a capital raise so you can pay for a pre-order and it is guaranteed to ship. We actually have both options available. Uh, quite a few folks have been wanting to know when we're going to be back in stock and when we're actually going to be shipping. Right now we're running very quickly through production. We're producing motors, blades, switches, all of the elements that go into the fan. And then as well, we're producing a, our new Western Harmonics 100 watt solar panel that's going to be included into this kit. And this panel is going to be an upgrade on the performance of the fan by providing a more robust power supply that's able to better harvest uh, sunlight in order to translate that into electricity and power the fan. And quite a few folks have been asking, what about adding a battery? We've got a lot of these that are out in the field and then a lot of them that are on pre-order and then a lot of them that are folks that are just kind of wanting to know about the pieces of the puzzle and how this all works. So in this video, I'm going to go in depth with how we add a battery and what it does for performance. It's sort of a gray day outside, which is not common for Southern Arizona in the middle of the summer. Usually we have full sunlight with no clouds and 110 degrees, but today it's overcast. So let's go take a look. Okay, taking a look in the box, what we've got got the extension cord for plugging into the solar panel. Wall plug and adapter. This allows you to plug the fan into the wall and run it if you want to connect it to the grid. Ah, way down in here. Solar panel mounting clips. This has those guys for mounting the panel. And then, of course, the fan itself. So let's take a look. Okay, I've gotten everything out of the box here. First of all, we have the fan. One thing to know about this on the mounting hardware for the fan. We have a couple of mounting holes here and here if you want to screw this into place and actually permanently fix it. And I'm going to go a little bit further in depth on that in terms of uh, what you do if you've got, say, metal channel or tubing as the actual structure that you're trying to mount this on. Um, we've got an extension cord here. This is for plugging directly into the solar panel. This end goes into the panel. This end goes into the fan. It also comes with the wall plug-in adapter, which is just pretty straightforward. This end is going to go into the fan. And then this guy is going to plug in here so that you have a takeoff plug into the wall. This is a 90 watt AC adapter. And then as well, the mounting hardware for the solar panel. And what this includes I'm going to go a little bit further in depth with this. The uh, mounting brackets to put onto the panel, the lags to connect to the roof, and then the mounting hardware to connect this to the solar panel. Uh, taking a look at the fan on the reverse side of the fan here. This is basically uh, a simple fan, just as any other fan would be. It has an on-off switch, low, medium, and high speed. And these are all, this is a toggle switch, this is not a dial. Uh, it is a sealed motor. This is where the solar panel extension cord is going to connect onto the fan, which would be this guy right here. And then this takeoff can be used for the wall plug-in adapter, or as well connecting to a solar generator, a solar power battery bank, 
or a solar system, you know, a mini 12 volt system will actually run this fan quite nice. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about batteries in this video as well. But these are the main ingredients in the kit. This is kit number 2051AG. Uh, I've left the solar panel out of this. We're going to talk a little bit about that as well. Uh, this is a 20 inch fan. It has an 18 inch blade and it moves approximately 3400 CFM. Generally speaking, we send out a new power 100 watt mono or a MegSun 100 watt or a light catcher solar 100 watt or a HQST 100 watt. Uh, in this case, we're looking at a new power 100 watt compact mono, which is actually the panel that is used to test each fan prior to shipping. So each fan is connected to this panel and tested for verification that it runs and runs as it should prior to shipment. I've placed a 20 inch floor fan in front of the panel just to give you an idea of a sense of scale. These are not very big panels at all. And as well, I want to go a little bit in depth about we're making our own panel, but we're going to come to that yet in the video. Sometimes the sky is just not optimal conditions for running a fan. I'm going to connect the fan to the panel and we're going to take a look at performance in these kinds of skies. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the panel that we're producing for the kit at the moment and as well connecting batteries and we're going to look a little bit into batteries at the same time. These lighting conditions where the sky is not clear is what is called diffuse lighting. And I've gone ahead and put the panel out here in the full sun. I've got it aimed at the sun basically. And we've got a 25 foot extension cord here running all the way back over here to the fan. She's sitting there chilling. Uh, I've got this connected and I'm gonna just power this fan on to show you how this affects the performance. This is gonna be the low speed. Got enough light, it appears we're running normal here. This is the medium speed. We're now requiring more power than that panel can actually produce. So what's gonna happen? We're gonna try to run, but we just don't have, well, maybe we do. Okay, we're running a little slower than we should. The clock speed is not quite right because we've got that kind of sky going on. And then we're going to hit the high. Same deal. Now, if it gets any darker out there, this is going to slide back into winding up and winding down. And that's why producing the type of panel that we're making is really important. Because in diffuse light, in order to optimize the performance of your fan without connecting into the grid or battery, by improving the panel to be a bifacial panel, you're able to capture the sunlight on both sides of the panel. This panel here has what they call an opaque EVA sheet. So when you look at the back of this panel, well actually when you look at the front, this white that you see right here and on the back that makes that all be white. That's what's called an AV, EVA sheet. And by making that transparent, the light can pass through the glass, around the solar cells, through the panel. And then as well, we're not blocking any kind of light that could be captured on this side of the panel, which greatly improves performance. Okay, I've got the fan connected to the panel. This is just running panel direct. We're oscillating up and down in speed because we don't have enough power to run it full power on high speed. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the battery. And we're going to just take a look at how this changes everything.
and it'll actually toggle in between these guys. So this is what the low speed should be like. And this is actually the performance you'd get on a clear day where there's full sunlight. We're going to run basically the same as if this is connected. Now, a lot of folks have been asking about adding a battery to these systems to make the fan run either fully overnight and recharge so that it runs on continual duty or just have it run steady during the daytime and maybe just go slightly past sunset or maybe have it run a few hours into the night. So we have three kits that cover all three of those. The wall mount plug-in battery pack that we just saw in the video, this guy right here, is going to be a great option for just sort of steadying the performance of the of the fan. It's not really going to have a lot of uh, charge that it stores up. It's only going to have a short period of time that it can run the fan on high speed, and uh, it's got its limitations. You know, you're basically, you know, daytime running with a, with some storage for the evening. You you could get an hour out of it, and that's about all that it's going to hold. The 35 AH battery pack, which is this guy right here, is going to include battery box battery. And with all of our battery systems, we include the connectors to connect the solar to the charge controller. This is the charge controller that we include with these kits. This is lithium compatible. These are LifePo 4 batteries, uh, this one being a 36 AH. And uh, this guy will run the fan approximately six or seven hours on high speed. This one, being a 100 AH, is actually the system that's going to run the fan fully overnight. Uh, the thing to know about these guys is that this one can kind of just go in series with the fan. You know, we're going to connect the panel on this end and just connect the fan to the charge controller. Um, it can go, as I demonstrated in the video, separately, and that will give you a little bit better storage. It will also provide a little better toggle uh, in terms of uh, you know, going between cloud and sunlight. Uh, there's really a couple of ways to approach that, but either way is going to have that running really nice. Put a lot of pep in that fan so that you've got the strong airflow that you need, and uh, all of these are actually going to achieve that. Uh, the thing to know, this kit's going to come with a 100 watt panel to charge this battery. This kit over here, this one's just going to be an add-on because you've already got the panel. Uh, but this one is going to come with an additional panel to charge the battery and that's going to plug into our charge controller. And then with this guy, we're supplying 400 watts broken down as four 100 watt panels so that we gang up our amps and get a full charge on this guy. And again, it's going to be connected to the same solar charge controller. Really is a mini power system uh, with a mini solar array. This can connect and run uh, an inverter. I'm going to pause the video and grab one real quick and we're going to just show how that connects onto this. Okay, taking a look, we've got the power inverter here. Um, this is an 1100 watt 12 volt inverter. And basically what this does is on this end, we're going to connect the black being negative and the red being positive. We're going to connect these two cables to the posts on the battery, which are going to be right here and right here. This is also the same points that the charge controller is going to connect on to. Uh, the fan is going to be powered over here. This guy will connect on, and what this will do is this gives you a couple of wall plug-in power outlets. It also has a data comm that will allow you to kind of know the status of uh, what things are doing. So folks, all that being said, our next stop, we're going to head over to the barn and take a look in the next video, and we're going to take a look at how to install 
and how to maintain these fans where we have them installed and running here in Tucson and have had them for three years. So stay tuned for the next video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We could be reached at this address.